hello everyone welcome back today in this video we are going to edit our customer so let's go to the controller and go to the api so here i'm going to create an edit route and i'm also going to create a delete route so let's make this uh, uh, edit and uh, let me make this uh, like this and slash edit like this I name this uh, edit and then I need to name this dash try right dash try and let me name them also dash try so this one is our delete route and I need to, I forgot to add this update route so make this a put request here put and then I'm going to update this simply uh, update and then copy this one and paste them here so now i'm going to use this edit this one so i'm going to pass an id and then this parameter so let's go to the index plate and uh, let me first create this in the controller so i'm going to create this in the controller so name this edit and then here we are accepting an id so we are also accepting this id so let's return this id here so let me return customer id and uh, let's go here go to the index and here we need to pass this uh, route to this edit so route edit and then i need to pass the second argument so this one would be responsible for this uh, getting the customer customer id okay save this one give it a refresh and check that we are able to edit this and then we are going to do the next stuff and uh, it's refreshing and click on this and yes it's going to edit and it's going to view us an id and yes it's displaying us an id so let's go here and pass this into an edit form so i'm going to first uh, implement a condition that if we found the customer id then we are going to apply uh, apply something on it so i'm going to first uh, i'm not going to directly edit this i'm going to first check this in the zoho and then i'm going to update this right so you can do this but uh, i know how you can fetch this so you can fetch this like this and then when you return some response so then you can get this into the controller so i'm copying this from there so copy this so replace with this one so it's uh, not this one i need to add this inside so i'm sending this uh, request here so let me also copy this so access token here so I'm sending this uh, request to, on this show to getting the response and getting the customer and then I'm going to pass this customer to a view. So what are the view name? It's a edit and here let me pass this uh, as an array. It's a customer and then I'm going to pass this like here. Okay, so in the edit I'm going to display this customer. So in the value attribute I'm going to display this. Uh, here a customer display name display name and uh, here in the email i'm also going to display an email so value and then this value is responsible for email so give it a refresh and yes it's returning and yes now our values are there so now we are going to update these values so I'm going to send this uh, on the which route. So I'm going to send this on the update route. So where is the update? It's this one. And uh, I'm going to update to uh, this customer. So I need to first uh, find the ID and then I'm going to update the customer according to this ID. So let me view the customer update, how customers are updating in the customers we need to pass this an id so i'm getting this uh, customer id so let me send this in a hidden field so it's a hidden 
and here I need to pass the customer ID so value would be responsible for this customer and then this would be a customer ID so I'm passing this customer ID and uh, I'm retrieving this here so let's give it a refresh so this uh, hidden field will be also loaded in this uh, create form and then I'm going to make this uh, update update and then I'm going to submit this on this uh, customer controller let me create a new method here which is update so I'm going to create a new method which is update so here this would be an update and uh, I, I'm not getting this customer ID like this I'm grabbing this from this request so here we can return this uh, uh, request and we can say that it should be a customer ID customer ID and then I'm going to save this into a variable so it will be a oops it will be a customer customer ID so I'm getting this uh, from this uh, input to uh, hidden input field this customer ID value so I'm getting this customer ID value and returning this is it uh, working or not so let's submit this and check that uh, mm, it's returning the post method is not uh, mm. so why we are getting this because so let's go to the api.php file and uh, here we are using this port method so we need to define in our edit here we need to define a method which method we need to define this uh, a method and then this method is a put method so give it a refresh uh, go back and uh, here we need to hot reload this and let me check the video size why my video size are going bigger okay so let's click on this update and yes now we are returning this id in this parameter right so in the next video we are going to update our customer in the zoho so we are going to send a, uh, send an api request to the server and then we are going to update the customer and return to the back so i will meet you in the next one bye bye